Good morning, Kathy Wilder here. I want to talk to you today about the reticular formation. Um, I learned about this last Friday morning on the Thinking Grow Rich call, and I thought it was really fascinating um, because I have actually known about the reticular formation uh, since I was a kid, and but I didn't realize what it was. Um, when I was a kid, I would read a book. And uh, if there was a word in there I didn't know, my dad always told me to look it up. So I was always reading books. I was always looking up words. But the funny thing was, when I looked up a word, I would learn it. And magically, it would appear the next day in something else I was reading. Or I'd hear somebody say it on TV. And it was like, okay, this what a coincidence. How cool. You know, I just learned it. and I'm, But it happened all the time. And I, I thought this was some, you know, some magical uh, cosmic law of attraction or something. <laughs> it really though, I mean I thought it was very cool, but here's what it here's what it was really. It was my reticular formation, which is an actual part of your brain, um, which it has several functions. Um, one of them is habituation. Let me explain that. Um, we all have uh, you know heredity. We have genetic heredity, which is, you know, what we look like. Um, and then we have social heredity. And social heredity is what forms us from the day we're born just by what we're around. The influences. My dad was a big reader. I'm a big reader. Um, you know, the, the it doesn't even have to be people. It can be the area you live in. Um, it can be... Uh, uh, you know, your, your friends, your teachers, your co-workers, anything. Uh, it's just what, what forms your influences. Now, the, the way this works in with the reticular formation is that you are able to filter some things out. Um, you, you notice certain things and you don't notice certain things. Um, for example, you can sleep really soundly through a thunderstorm minute your baby cries, you're wide awake, okay, because you are tuned to that. And this is what that part of your brain does. Now, why is this important? How can it help you? Um, successful people are always focusing on the good, on the positive. Um, they always see boundless opportunities everywhere. And they have ideas because they notice these things. Other people focus on the negative and they don't see any opportunities at all. They think there aren't any. You know, maybe they maybe they grew up poor. Um, they're used to you know seeing crackheads and and uh, you know gangbangers and and uh, nobody's really doing much with their life. So they don't notice things. The good news is you can change what is stored in your reticular formation. I changed it when I looked up a new word. Then I noticed the word. Okay, so the key here is surrounding yourself with successful people, surrounding yourself with positive people, um, you know, being in situations where uh, the positive is emphasized. And uh, a really good way to do that is to get on the Think and Grow Rich call every morning. Um, it is a mindset call. Mindset is very important to success. But on this call, there are hundreds of amazing people. I mean, just amazing, positive, some of them very successful, and they still get on this call, which tells you something right there. <laughs> so give that a shot. Start focusing on something else, and, uh, you know, it's, it's like you absorb this. You get on that call every morning, and you're going to change your reticular formation, okay? <laughs> what is your reticular formation up to? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.